friends, Valerine here. Welcome back to Valerine's Home and Gardens channel. Now, um, I have some wooden disc here. And if you guys watched the video that tells you the easiest way to find the center of an oval disc when you're doing your DIY projects, you would have seen these discs. And I would have told you that I was going to use it to do some, a special project. That's the project we'll be doing right now. So aside from these discs, I have two candle stands. Now, I painted the candle stands the same color I painted the disc. Now these are candle holders that came with the candle stands. I have used my hammer to flatten this candle holder. Let's get the project started. I have the candle stands, the disc. I have already found the center of each disc. I have some glue, some wood screws, and my flattened candle holders and of course my drill the first thing i'm gonna do let's start with this one here is put um some glue onto the back and I'm going to put the glue on this. I'm screwing it, but I want to make sure it's strong for what I want, what I need to do. So I'm going to put the glue on here and I'm going to just put it to sit and I'll put the glue on this one also. It's a two part glue that's supposed to combine. So it's a resin with um, some type of hardener that's in mixed with the resin to make it stronger. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my nut hair lines up with the center of the back of the disc. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my screws. I made sure I got screws so that they are not too long to go all the way through the wood to the front. Okay. So it doesn't matter that the glue is not set up yet because I am screwing it. So it will give it time to set up. So now I have my candle holder on the back of the wood. Okay, let's wait for a bit to see what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put the other one on. Just line it up with the center here. Actually, I have a hole here, so I can see the center. And the next thing we do is basically just take our disc with the candle holder and screw it back onto the candle stand. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here just to make sure it bonds properly. Can you guess what I'm going to use this for? It's going in the living room that I'm making over and you guys will see what I'm using it for. You'll have to wait just a little. Okay, here, I'm done with the glue, so I'm just going to go ahead and close it. 
There we go. Fix those. And I'm going to screw this back on. That's it, guys. I am going to take them inside. Hi, guys. So as you can see, it's the next day. I'm in a completely different attire. Um, when I finished yesterday evening, it was just too late to rec finish recording inside because there were so many shadows. And so there you go. They are in place. Can you see them? When I started laying out the space here, this living room, family room, conversation, watch TV area, I was absolutely sure that my hubby's big speaker boxes were not going to be a part of the space but i had to give a little and i compromised to have his big speaker boxes in the corners of the room they're black and they're a bit streamlined so what i decided to do was to put the table lamps on the boxes and then I had the space beside the boxes and I figured I wanted to do something here, but I did not want to put anything that was going to be too heavy. I wanted something airy and open and the intention was to put the plant on whatever was going to be here. And I thought about it. And I was thinking of doing a little cube, but then I went into the shop and I saw the candle stand. Let me just grab one here. I saw the two candle stands and I said, hmm, I could use that to make my plant stand and that is exactly what i did i searched around i found these i had these in the store also so i took two of these cutting boards i got the candle stand as you saw in the video and i did my thing you can do it too And here's the twin over here, the other plant on my plant stand. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you have learned anything from this video, if you like the video, please leave your thumbs up, leave a comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next video. By the way, I should mention that my next project for these things here is to cover the pot. See how it's a bit dirty? Because when I was putting the plant in, it got a little dirt all over it. Watch out for it. I'll be showing you how to make a simple cover for your um, potted plants, your indoor potted plants.